Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Alex, and today I'm gonna to talk about something that's very near and dear to my heart, which is houseplants. In this video, I'll show you three different approaches to designing with plants and give you some tips on how to display them. So let's jump right in. As anyone who has them can tell you, having plants in your space really adds a lot to any room. They bring in an element of nature and act as living sculptures that are not only beautiful, but can increase your sense of well-being. Let's take a look at the first approach to designing your space with them. Now, let me preface this by saying that if you're a true minimalist, you'd probably only want one or two plants and you'd call it a day, but can you imagine how boring of a video that would make? And we're done. So in this context, I'm defining a minimalist as someone who likes houseplants, wants a little bit of that lush greenery feeling, but can very quickly feel overwhelmed by lots of clutter. So if an image like this makes your heart race and not in a good way, you might be a plant minimalist. Here's the space we'll be working with. The main idea with this approach is that you want little doses of green at different heights throughout your space while visually giving them room to breathe. First, we'll start off with this hanging plant. Nearby to that on the mantle, we'll create a display with some books, a couple of ferns and white pots, and some decorative accessories. By mixing the plants with other decorative objects, it creates a fuller display while also giving the greenery some visual breathing room. And when creating any grouping like this, I like to use what I call the pyramid rule, which is where you put your tallest items near the center and the shorter ones on the sides, so the whole display roughly fits in a triangle shape like this. Moving on to the other side of the mantle, we're gonna do the same thing. A beautiful orchid, some white pottery, candlesticks, a small glass vase with some sugar vine cuttings. The decorative objects support the two plants, but let them be the stars. Again, we're using the pyramid rule here. With larger plants, they can stand on their own. Here, a snake plant in a pedestal planter adds a nice vertical element, and a cast iron plant in a small basket adds some more greenery near this chair. As a final touch, some Monstera cuttings make for an easy and elegant display on the coffee table. So with just a few houseplants, we've changed the feel of this room. The plants really add to the design of the space, but the overall effect is light and airy. So that's the living room done. Let's move on to the library and approach number two. So this approach is for people who have more plants than a minimalist would, but still want to maintain some level of organization in their collection. Here, we're going to start with the grouping on top of the credenzas. I'm placing the taller plants near the center and the smaller ones on the sides. Notice here that we're using terracotta planters in similar colors. You really want to consider the planters as you create your groupings, since this will ensure you keep a cohesive look. As you can see, we've used our pyramid rule again, but it's also a good idea to vary the heights of the pots themselves. I try and make sure that no pots next to each other are the same height. With this grouping done, we can add some more plants. In all of the approaches, it's a good idea to vary the types of plants you include, so it makes for a more interesting composition. I'm gonna add a long trailing sugar vine, some more plants up on the shelves, and a couple of hanging plants at the window. If you're concerned about too much visual clutter, Remember to maintain some negative space to allow your eye to rest. So here on the credenza, there's a little bit of space on either side of the grouping, and on the window, I'm keeping the area in the center clear of any plants so it doesn't look too visually busy. If you want a fuller look, you can bring in some larger plants. If you saw part two of my living room makeover, you'll recall that I had a large monstera anchoring the plant display on the credenza, which was really quite nice. With the library done, it's time to move on to the final approach. Now this last approach is for people who can't seem to stop hoarding houseplants and really like that intense jungly look. For this method, I'm gonna use this simple wood table we recently built, but haven't stained yet because I can't decide on a color, along with this tall white metal shelving unit. Now you can do this with just plants, but I like to mix in other nature-themed objects since I think it makes for a richer display. The main rule for the crazy plant person approach is that there aren't really any rules. 
but you do want to try and get green everywhere. So plants down low, plants at eye level, and up high. Here I'm using trailing ones, cuttings, cacti, even a terrarium. The important thing is to just have fun with it. What's interesting is that I find as the display starts to fill up, it starts to look cluttered, but if you push through and just keep adding more and more plants, eventually it just starts reading as a wall of green. Now, I'm not telling you to run out and buy more houseplants for this, but I'm also not not telling you that, so... <laughs> With the shelving unit done, we can move on to this other area. As you can see, I'm adding plants at the floor at different heights, and under the table, I'm using faux succulents since this space doesn't get much light. On top of the table, aside from more plants, I'm also adding things like amethysts, orchids, books, and a glass cloche. With this approach, I think it's the perfect opportunity to add some really fun decor pieces and create little vignettes that catch people's attention when they walk by. Little special moments. I love how dramatic this giant bird of paradise plant is as it reaches up and touches the ceiling. And one of my favorite things is the monkey lamp that hangs out in its branches. Because who doesn't need a monkey lamp in their space? My hope with today's video is that I've inspired you to try out some new arrangements with your houseplants and really appreciate how beautiful and special they are. Whether you're a minimalist, a collector, a crazy plant person, or all three of them like me, I hope you'll consider bringing more greenery into your space. Okay, that does it for us today. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button. And if you're interested in seeing more content like this, please consider subscribing. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.